But if it all comes together at the same time, like the lighting, the music, the movements, the number of people that are, I mean, it is like, it gives me goosebumps. It's so much fun and so cool. Well, my name is Tiffany Bowers, and this is Tribe Studio in Jupiter. That group community feeling, and that was really important to me too. I wanted to create a place where people just, I mean, it sounds kind of corny, but I want everyone to feel loved and, and part of something. Every time they walk in the door, you know, they're greeted with a big smile. Sometimes they're greeted with hugs, and I mean, it sounds cheesy, but you know, I, I love that. I want everyone to just feel really good in their skin when they come here. And on top of that, they're gonna see results because when you're happy and you wanna be somewhere, you tend to put a little bit more effort into what you're doing. Now they're working out really hard. They're up here, you know, trying to, to do every single thing the instructor's telling them to do, and they're, they're walking out of here really, really accomplished. And that's, I don't know, I love that part of it. If the instructor's doing their job, there should be a level for everybody. So, you know, I, I always tell them to teach to the beginner but push the advanced. So you could be doing the same exact move, but there, there, there can be five different ways you do it. And so if you demonstrate it properly and you're giving everybody a chance, then that, that person that felt like they couldn't do it, all of a sudden they're like, okay, I totally did that whole set and I didn't like hurt myself or I didn't have to stop. And, and they go out of here and they're like, I wanna just take on the world now. At Tribe Studio, we, my, my biggest thing that I wanted to, to provide to the community was a place for variety fitness. I've been teaching group fitness for a really long time and I have a lot of small certifications under my national certification, so I have a lot of experience in different formats. I wanted to first train some of my instructors in these formats so they can then teach it successfully. I tend to stick to the stuff that I know um, is tried and true. And you know, when you're in the industry that long, you see the cycles of, you know, the different formats that come through and you know what works, you know what sticks around and you know what people like. Well, I've made, you know, designed a schedule around that. What you'll see is, you know, the, the typical time slots that people are familiar with in the industry where it's like the 815 class, the 930 class, the 1045 class. And if you look across the board at one time slot, you'll see every day there's something different, but it works together. When you're working out for a week, you should be able to hit all of those different parts that make you successful in, in fitness and make you healthy. And I want people, men and women, to come in here and just feel really good about themselves when they leave. You know, I've connected with all of these instructors in a really unique way, and I think the members um, really notice that, and that's what keeps them coming back for more, and so then that's their own tribe coming in. Everyone is in their own um, place with their life and their nutrition and their fitness and their children and their marriages and everything. So it, you're not gonna, no one's gonna walk in here and everything's already like, you know, established. Exploring what they can do and what they can't do. And a lot of, most of the time, and members will walk in and say, oh, I can't do that. And then I'm like, well, yeah, you can. So start at this level, because when I teach, and I know all of my instructors have the same mindset, I don't think that there should be a beginner class and an advanced class. So we want them to feel connected and that they're all working together in a group. And that's pretty empowering when all, like, 40 people are like, oh my gosh, we're all doing the exact same time to the same beat. And it's really hard, and I'm still doing it. Like, that's, that's, that's my goal. You know, I've gotten to the point in my life where I feel, I feel pretty educated on, on most of these formats and it's fun to train other instructors and so, which is really why I, I like to call, you know, this is our tribe because my instructors and I feel like a tribe of our own because we're very, very good friends and we've been together a long time. The classes we offer here really um, touch on all of the different, like, sort of I call them categories in fitness and of course you want cardiovascular activities, so you want to train your heart. A lot of strength training classes. In a, in a typical group fitness place, studios, fitness center, gym, you know, you'll see your typical stuff, your hand weights, you know, your body bars and stuff like that. But I tried to sort of think outside the box a little bit. I went with some stuff that's just really unique. So you're not just always going to be standing there doing a bicep curl. So I have the 10 pound slam balls, which are really fun to just, and you have a lot of, uh, you know, stress built up in your personal life, it might be nice to slam a ball on a mat as hard as you possibly can and not 
worry about it damaging anything or rolling away because the minute you throw it down, it's you know it's filled with sand, so it just it dead stops on the mat. And not only does that offer variety and, and keep you from getting bored, but it also trains the muscle in a different way because you're not holding a, a dumbbell. Of course, we have the Intrinity boards, which um, that's more of a mind-body format. There may be an Intrinity board class on the schedule five times, but all five times you're going to find that the instructor interprets it very differently. So my Intrinity class, when I teach, it's really, you know, we're moving, there's a lot of strength, a lot of um, cardio, but if you've got somebody with a yoga background, they're going to be, you know, doing all the warrior poses on it, they're going to be using it more as a lengthening tool and stretching and more maybe even a way to clear your mind a little bit and, and have a little bit more of a meditative approach to the class. And I like that because I think that the body should be expecting things to be different. 